These are things that even go out at night. These are they have been banished in this city. These are careful banners are stirring up trouble. Why? The gate of this city is already closed. Please wait until it's dawn. You want to go outside the city if you want to go outside the city. The bandits come at night, so we close the gate again. Hmm. Out of my way, this Lonnie Joe. This must be the house next door. Wow, Shana. Wow. Wow, you don't say. Wow. That was that was that was the most brilliant line I've ever seen. I wonder if Mr. Fester is in. Maybe not. Lights are on though. This is flaking. Let me see. Go ahead and check the again. Mr. Fester, are you home? Yes, yes, I am. Darling, I wasn't paying attention. I was admiring the moon. Come in. Please, let's talk inside. Well, the reality is he, he won't answer to guards. Because he's a manly man, but... You get a girl's voice and he's running to the door. We are here to ask you about the moon that you never set. Oh, about the moon that never set. Wait here for a minute. Let me get some materials. You are interested in a weird matter. I want to talk. Of course, I cannot make judgments about other people. Please, take a look at this. It's so judgmental. In astronomy, a moon that never sets cannot exist. Cannot exist? That's right. Stars travel the sky by catching the winds of time. But this moon isn't affected by time. It never moves day or night. That's why it's called the moon that never sets. After counting 108 years, when the moon that never sets glows red, a moon child descends upon the earth to fill the world with holy bliss, a poem of yore telling the fate given by the moon. However, what we really get is the spawning of destruction and fear, that is, the black monster. Black monster. What does it mean? The mystery has yet to be resolved. Okay. Question. Dart has been alive for how many years? And he's just now taking notice of that gigantic big ass moon in the sky that just sits there day and night he's just now noticing that on whatever planet they're on on this 
on this universe, planet Earth. He's just now noticed this. He's, what, 21 years old? 23 years old? How? 21? 21 years. Twenty-one years. I just don't. I don't get it. I don't. I don't. I don't. Okay. 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 I never imagined that there would be some information about the black monster here. Did you find this useful? Yes, I think so too, right, Doug? Yeah, I learned more about my planet. Very good. It is a pleasure to be helpful to such a beautiful lady. You said you was beautiful? Hey, I guess there are many ways to see things. Having a good friend, having a good friend is beautiful. It makes me envious. No, it's getting late. I have to hurry up or I will be making the princess wait. It's harder to eat only by astronomy. I am acting as the governor of Princess Lisa as well. Oh. If you want to take a good look at the moon that never set, you go up the stairs and take a look through the telescope. It's set in the direction of the moon that never set. Now I am heading to the castle. Of course, by upstairs, he means up the ladder. Two of them at that. This is the moon that is never set. How have I never seen this in the 21 years I've been alive? God. Dark learned something. Something. Even though we just got married, we still go to sleep before Nello. Are you asking me the reason? <laughs> you should know. I bet it. I bet it smells like funk in here. Nello is studying about plants day and night. Even you just got married, you cannot do that. Nothing but funk. All across the room, all through the house, funk. No wonder why he's getting fresh air. I see stars pretty well tonight. Looking at the stars makes me forget about my problems. For at least a moment. Hey, I don't need a good telescope. Freaking... Oh, whatever. Enjoy your... Your halftime break. Before you go back into the dungeon and freaking freak.
sleep in a good way. Or bad. Who knows what they have inside that giant cabinet. Could be a secret dungeon somewhere. Welcome, and I am Yellow, the representative of the Green Prophet telling you the brown berry to the green. The desert, the forest. Don't be so shy. You too wish to bring green back to the earth, don't you? Oh, give me a pea quest, Mark. Naturally not. <laughs> don't know what you heard. Oh, I see. I won't force my opinion, but if you change your mind, please stop by. Freaking okay, don't get all sour on you. Uh. Welcome back. Actually, you were thinking about bringing green back to the earth, weren't you? No, we weren't. Ah, uh, whatever. Freaking. That's true. I thought so. <laughs> but it's already late. I'll take a whole night to explain my plan. No whole night, is it? But actually it's okay with us, isn't it? You let this cabin trouble because there's no place to stay for the night. You're not allowed to leave the town either. I see. I have plenty of time to tell you about the green project tonight. The other vegetation of the desert is very interesting. <laughs> Maybe they are some kind of flower bud, and I've never seen anything like them. I wonder how they bloom. You are excited about it, aren't you, little widow? Yeah. Talking about buds, you always like to see flowers blooming. Yeah, you remember that. I'm gonna wipe you up. You need to grow up surrounded by greenery. Exactly, green is not only my favorite color, but it brings peace. Marvelous things. Peace, festivals, delicious air, all brought by greenery. I guess we really will talk until morning. The king has such curiosity. I hope we can feel some lovely green someday. Yeah. The issue here is how to promote the green. That's exactly the key issue. The research requires a lot of money. I'm tired of talking. <gasps> My jaw hurts. Get away from me. There's a flower city next door. No more talking. No more. There are no signs of Lloyd after all. I cannot imagine that Emperor Doe told us a lie. In this last moment, my uncle was in himself again. I think we can trust the information that he was Lloyd headed for Tedoror. The least of the scene that he crossed paths with Lloyd. So, where in the world? In any case, the king is getting along with the motley crew like us. I was concerned at first. I even imagined that we were going to be pushed around by the king's ego. 
please stop teasing me. Both of you. What I would like is to be treated as an equal, as a thing traveling together. Start. It's not good at speaking of courtesy. He gets cramped in his tongue when he tries. For a long time. I appreciate your solicitude, Your Majesty. Let's stop using that word, Your Majesty. You will be in trouble if anyone hears that, even though I've been telling every single person I come across that I am the king of radio. Anyway, the prior quality is the king's lord. Only tell him that the table runner, oh my god, will look at your thigh. It's hanging up there. Oh god, I lost my word. Yes, my memory is correct. This would be a town called Donau, in the next sea shore. I'm not standing in front of her, so we don't look this way, right? Let's go there now. Alright. Leave as soon as possible. Question. Where is Will sitting down at? I don't see that bench. Is that she sitting at? She was sitting at a bench just a moment ago, wasn't she? I don't see it. Where did it go? More coffee, please. You can more coffee. You've had enough get out of it to pass out. Get out. Get out, Rose. I don't want to do this to you, Rose, but... You're at the highest level. Whoa, crap. Let's get this. Do it for a little bit. You have to finish up that, but yeah, finish that up. Alright, let's go. Let's figure get this on the roll. And I guess it makes sense that it's a baron and has no facilities. It's authentic. I appreciate that little detail. The warrior's death. The house city is in a Okay. Who was dub? about that so far. You know it's about a thing. Uh actually I want you guys to like focus in on Rose. I should have done that earlier. What you thinking? Oh, 
Oh, you, 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 you have like poison. Like you could throw it your way. Make your own purpose. Nice! That was a good hit. But you could do better. No, freaking dream. <sighs> One job. 